All right, a uh, quick introduction to your lab drawers and some lab uh, safety. First of all, uh, you will not do labs in here unless I can absolutely trust you. If you give me any reason to believe you can't follow instructions, uh, you'll be assigned non-lab work immediately with m most likely very little chance to redeem yourself in the future. I just can't take a chance with full classes with students that can't follow directions or, or want to goof off. Um, couple things, this is your lab drawer and I do expect it put back neatly. I'll uh, give you a quick tour here. This is part of your ring stand here. This will come out and this can be screwed onto here and actually this one was already disassembled. Most of your lab drawers you can keep it assembled and just keep it over in the corner like that. Okay. Um, everything has a picture so it tells you where to go. You have <laughs> test tube holder. That's a thermometer clamp. Um, this is a test tube holder for a ring stand. This is a test tube holder just by hand so you can grab a, a hot test tube. Uh, this is part of your ring stand. Uh, that's the ring that goes on it with a wire gauze. Uh, tongs to hold hot things. Um, goggles, they come out of here in the boxes but leave the boxes in the lab drawer please. Um, and when you're at your desk and you're doing a lab you keep your goggles and your aprons on and your test tube holder is right here. Um, it's like a test tube rack. Back to goggles and aprons. Um, when you're done with them, they get folded back up neatly. You don't leave knots and things for people. You don't leave your goggles out of there so they don't get scratched. You just keep them in the boxes, please. Okay, And funnel in the back. Please use the pictures to put things back. Um, and that's basically it. Okay. Uh, Alcohol burners. Alcohol burners are in here. Get the, si the one that belongs to your table number. So for example, here's table one right here. Pull that down. Okay. A couple things about alcohol burners. Um, alcohol is flammable, that's why we use it, so you need to be careful. Uh, you may not take and transport the alcohol burners with the lids off. So once the lids open, you just twist it clockwise or is that counterclockwise? Counterclockwise. <laughs> counterclockwise, a half a twist or a quarter of a twist and it will lift right out of these grooves right here. Okay. Um, and inside of here is of course alcohol. might be hard to see in the camera. That alcohol goes up this uh, and travels into the little spot right here where it's burned. So you can check for alcohol um, before you start a major lab, but you do that sitting down at your desk with your goggles on and apron on. As soon as this top comes off in any way, goggles and apron are on. In fact, anytime you're transporting at all, goggles, apron on. Just make that a habit, okay? Um, this rubber stopper comes out. Hold the, the metal here so you don't bend it and you just sort of twist it out, okay? And just double check everything's sealed before you try to light it. To light it, you can, technically you can just hold it here and it will light. This one had alcohol at the base and so it's burning from the bottom and it's burning too high. So I'm actually gonna blow that out, okay? And I may even have to wipe up some of this alcohol down here. And you just make sure it's not too hot wipe that alcohol off. It sometimes gets a little extra when you put the lid on the first time. Make sure you get this out of the way completely. Now it has alcohol on it and it's highly flammable. So you can throw that in the trash and then come back and relight it. Some of them light better from a little lower, some of them light better from a little higher. Okay, it's burning from the bottom again, um, but I'm gonna let it, there. Now it's got a great flame, okay? Uh, when you're done, you just blow it out. Okay, and you might want to let it cool off before you do anything. It usually takes about 30 seconds to a minute to cool off. And when you put the rubber stopper on back in, don't push it hard. Just grab a hold of here and make sure that once it's cool, you got to make sure that's cool though. Um, you don't push too hard on the metal because it will bend it. Okay, and that keeps the alcohol from evaporating, and so does the lid that goes back on. So. Uh, Again, safety-wise, no transporting without goggles and aprons on. What happens when you run out of alcohol? 
you go up to the front of the room with the lid back on, everything's secure. You bring it to me and I can refill it for you up there. Um, you just take the lid off for me nice and still, okay, on a platform, take the lid off for me at the front um, when I'm there and I'll fill it back up. You put the lid back on and go back to your seat. So, all right, I hope that helps. Uh, thank you.